Chat is a stimulant, a plant that gives energy and improves the memory. On a daily basis, Djibouti imports eight tons of this drug, which is produced in the mountains near the city of Harar. The higher quality plants travel by air. The rest travel by train or in all-terrain vehicles. Chat loses its properties on the third day after being cut, which is why each phase must be carried out as fast as possible until it is finally consumed. In the city, as well as at sea, the intermediaries like Amin compete to be the first ones to offer the product. The consumption of chat in Djibouti is generalized. Sex, age, and social class make no distinction. Geography doesn't either. It's consumed in the cities and in the nomadic camps, in the labor camps, and at the fishing ports. The Gulf of Dajura is a big geographic obstacle for the transportation of the chat plant. The fastest way for chat to reach the extreme opposite end of the Gulf is in a speedboat. This belly of the sea between the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden has always been a favored setting for the legal and illegal traffic of all kinds of merchandise. The sale of chat is legal, but before, the sale of arms, slaves, and ivory was legal as well. When they were prohibited, traffic did not stop. It only continued through smuggling, provoking an increase in price. Something like this also happened with Chat in 1977, when the president of the country made it illegal. He wanted to prevent the disastrous consequences that the consumption of this drug had on day-to-day -day work. Considering its prohibition, consumption did not decrease, but rather mafias emerged and the prices rose. A popular uprising, the only one during more than 20 years of independence, led the government to overturn the law and legalize the consumption of Chat once again. During the day and at night, the Gulf of Dajura is an idyllic scene for the constant coming and going of smuggling vessels. Tajura, a coastal town, is where Amin takes his load of chat every day. It's one of the oldest towns on the east coast of Africa. Its trading history dates back, according to the Arabic texts, to the 12th century. In its day, it was the origin of numerous caravans headed for Abyssinia. Yay. 
During the long year that Kimbo had to wait before being able to leave with the caravan towards Ethiopia, he lived in Tajura. He wanted to sell weapons to Menelik II, one of the Ethiopian kings disputing the territory. He left Obok, reached his destination, and once there, Menelik deceived him and confiscated his weapons. The ships arrived at Tajura from India or China and unloaded exotic merchandise in exchange for slaves or ostrich feathers. It was a starting point and ending point for a trade that grew while inspired by legendary heroes like Simbad the Sailor or authentic adventurers like Henri de Montfried or Arthur Rimbaud. Even today, the final destination of the salt caravans is the town of Tajura. Do you remember Prohibition? That was when I began to sell chat. Those were the days. I would arrive secretly, crossing the border by land. Even the dry plants went for twice as much as today. <laughs> Starting at one in the afternoon, the country is paralyzed and everyone spends his or her time chewing chat. Chat is a social stimulant that is taken with the family at celebrations or at religious gatherings. Its effects are very similar to those of an amphetamine, but conveniently blended with the necessary doses of mysticism, it produces surprising states of collective ecstasy. <laughs> Chat is a religion of its own. <laughs> I don't believe it. I am not like you guys, the fishermen who see devils and goblins everywhere. I have passed by there hundreds of times and I have never seen anything. But there must be something, since so many boats have disappeared there. Why there and nowhere else? Those beasts are there. They must be really deep and only come out when the sun sets. I've heard hundreds of stories and you can tell that they are true. If not, how do you explain the water heating up all of a sudden and it turning red? And the strange whirlpools that form? And how the island disappears? The place that Hassan is referring to is known as Gubet al-Karab, or the Devil's Gulf. The Bay of Gubet lives trapped in the center of a myth, a myth that creates a land of taboos for most of the local fishermen. The legend says that here, there was a great mountain crowned by fire that was swallowed by the sea towards the catacombs of the earth. On a regular basis, the demons of the underworld used this gate to hell in order to come and go from the human world. There is some truth in all of this. Right here, in the corner of the Horn of Africa, one of the most important geological collisions on the Earth takes place.
the Earth's surface is formed by six tectonic plates. Djibouti is located at the meeting point of three of them. <laughs> 